In the previous video, we talked about 5 reasons that made Cinema 4D a better 3D application compared to Blender, and Blenders were so angry at me. Even though at the start of that video, I clearly mentioned that in the next video, which is this one, we take a look at reasons that make Blender a better 3D software compared to Cinema 4D. So without further ado, here are 5 reasons why Blender is better than Cinema 4D, and now it's time for Cinema 4D users to get mad at me. Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Let's get started. Number 5. 2D Animation Pipeline One of the headlining future of Blender 2.8 was the introduction of Grease Pencil tools which basically makes it possible for Blender artists to create professional 2D animations from start to finish and have 2D animation tools within a full 3D pipeline. It's an entire 2D animation production pipeline from design to storyboarding, scene layout, 2D animation and VFX. It's really good and has been used in production to create a short animation called Hero, which is pretty nice. On the other hand, there is no dedicated tools in Cinema 4D for a proper 2D animation pipeline. There is a pretty powerful sketch and tune shader within Cinema 4D which allows you to apply flat shading to 3D artwork and create 2D style cell shaded kind of animation and produce non photorealistic rendering. It's uh, like a more powerful version of Cycle's tune shader within Blender but it can't be compared to Grease Pencil. They are entirely two different things, so 2D animation is better within Blender, no doubt. Number 4. Compositing and Video Editing Blender comes with a very capable multi-threaded built-in node-based compositor which allows you to post-produce your render right inside Blender without having to do it in a dedicated compositing package like Nuke, Fusion or After Effects. You can do some very basic layer-based compositing within Cinema 40's Picture Viewer but having a fully fledged compositor is a huge plus for Blender and a lot of Cinema 4D users wish to have that within Cinema 4D. And also Blender does have a video editor which can be used for basic video editing and that is not available within Cinema 4D or any other 3D application. That's not something people would look for in a 3D app but it's nice to have it. Before moving on, make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Viri, Maxwell and so on. Number 3. Fluid, Smoke and Fire Simulation the next big thing is being able to simulate fluid fire and smoke natively within Blender which is just amazing. Even though at the moment you might not get the production quality level simulation that you might be after, but you can get fairly close to that level if you know the specific settings. On the other hand, you do not get built in fluid fire and smoke with Cinema 4D which is a shame, but if you demand the highest possible quality and don't care about the money that much, you can get Hollywood level fire and smoke simulation with FumeFX plugin for Cinema 4D which is in open beta. And you have also real flow plugin for Cinema 4D which is tightly integrated with Cinema 4D and it is used to produce very advanced and realistic water and physics simulation. If you are a Blender user, you still can use the standalone version of RealFlow and import the RealFlow sim using Alembic format, but FumeFX is just available for Max Maya and Cinema 4D currently. Also, they are not cheap and they cost around $750 each and close to $1300 for the standalone version of RealFlow. But if you don't want to pay and still get a built-in fairly good fluid fire and smoke sim, Blender can do it. Number 2. Cycles and EV when you open up Blender, you get two pretty damn good ray trace and real time render engines out of the box Cycles and Eevee. Cycles is Blender's ray trace based production render engine which supports both CPU and GPU and works with both Nvidia and AMD graphic cards. It really rivals the best of the best and there is nothing bad to say about it. There is also Eevee which is an amazing real time render engine and you can use Eevee to preview cycle shaders and renders in real time as Eevee supports subsurface scattering, motion blur, ambient occlusion, depth of field among other things and simply there is nothing like it in Cinema 4D natively. Also make sure to check out the first part of this video where we count out 5 reasons why Cinema 4D is better than Blender. Number 1. It's free and open source. And here is where no 3D application can be compared to Blender. It's an open source software that is free. How do you beat that? 
That means anybody anywhere with enough passion and talent can make Blender a better software for all to use. That's why the development pace and the addition of new features are really fast and you get all of that for free. A few days ago Maxon released Cinema 4 r 21 with new pricing and subscription model. Now it costs you $60 a month to use Cinema 4D which is obviously more affordable compared to before but still free is better. So do you think there is anything else that makes Blender better than Cinema 4D? Let us know down below in the comment section. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Viri, Maxwell and so on. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos from Mograph Plus. See you next time.